Hello my little munchkins, crones, and sunflowers. How are you on this Thursday evening night? You know, I hope your week went well. And whatever you was going through, I hope it's all in the past because you only got one more day to go, many of you, right? So with that being said, we're going to talk about Gordon Ramsay. What is it called? Food stars. Food stars. We missed last week. Yes, we did. We did. Why? I, probably me. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Summer blues? No, I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know what it is. I was talking to you about that earlier today. Yeah. Sometimes it's all in the stars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So nevertheless, baby, Kung Fu, would you mind just giving us an upkeep, an update of what went on last episode and who went home so we can move on? Yes. Okay. So last episode, um, it was a live event that the t that the two teams had to do. And they only had three hours to prep. And basically it was like some food trade event. And they had to advertise kitchen gadgets in order to make the buy over like 30,000 people that are like there to get to entice them to buy the products. They so, were advertisement and they were, they were like at some, whatever you call it. And people were there to buy their products. Mm -hmm. And so the people, the people that are in the show that is competing, the competitor, the com they're competing, right? Yes. Amongst one another. And so what they had to do, they had to try to sell these products to those people that were really there wanting to buy those products. Yes. That, that part was real. Yes. It seems like each episode they're getting more and more out there into the public. Ooh. Um, so with Team Lisa, there was there seemed to be a little mishap with Team Lisa because Jess in particular, she is she admitted she's not a cooker whatsoever, doesn't and it doesn't feel too comfortable selling um, kitchen gadgets. So she just happened to pick this like four layer kitchen thing. It's supposed to be like a grater and help you shave stuff something like that and she happened to accidentally cut her finger so at the very last minute first off like i said it only had three hours to prep so because of that they had to make a quick adjustments they were all pretty much stressing on time everyone felt on edge about it and then with ramsey's team um one leader in particular rose she kind of like took over being a leader. I mean, I can't, I guess you can't say a leader took over, but she, she, she was the leader. Did she, yeah, she was the leader. Yeah. She, she, she puts, put us up in that position. Yeah, yeah. She did put herself in that position. Okay. Yes. And, um, yeah, I don't really have much to say with Ramsey's team because during the prep. Well, what happened to that? Oh, I was getting ready to talk about when they went live. No, I want to know what did Rose do? Rose was the leader and she basically assigned everybody a kitchen gadget and then she um, planned out how the, how she's going to introduce everybody and it was supposed to be some like be some sports announcer kind of playoff where she doesn't call people in and they're going to do their thing. Um, which funnily enough, Lisa's team almost wanted to do something similar and make it feel like it was an interactive play in a sense, or the, how that's how Lisa puts it. So um, that foreshadows a little bit about their live broadcasting. So with Team Lisa's team, they went smoothly. Everything was a okay. It was very engaging. The crowd looked like they enjoyed the. Per um, it wasn't much of a performance, but they just liked how they sold their goods. Yes, they knew about their product and could even ask follow up questions, mm -hmm. which is always great when you can answer follow up questions. However, for Team Ramsey's um, disaster, <laughs> yeah, it was a disaster. Yeah. Um, first off, Kaisen. Poor Kaisen. He stuttered in front of the... He froze. Yeah, he did froze. And then on top of that, he went for a knife because it goes with 
colliery, which is something he specializes he just cut a piece in. Of butter, put it on the bread, and took a bite. Yes. But he didn't sell his knife. No, he did not sell his knife. And all the things that it could do. Mm -hmm. It could grade. What it what, it could do other things. things. Yes, it. He could have demonstrated how to spread butter with it because it but was designed to do He did. He just panicked. And here was the worst part. When one of somebody asked a question about what is so special about it, all he said was that it's a stainless steel. Three he, he just panicked. He just panicked. Yeah, so when it came time for the grill in, the results is that 35% of the people that attended wanted no, no, to... No, 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 And go back to the other guy who was so nervous that he forgot to put the lid on top of the smoothie. Oh, yes, that was on Lisa's team. Oh, that I was on Lisa's team. Yes, I yeah. forgot to mention that that was the only problem that they kind of had. He just Lisa's forgot, team. but he put it right in front of the hat. Yes, he sure and did. Then at the end, don't forget to do, don't do what I do. Don't forget to put the lid on top. Uh -huh. Yep, that is true. But the crowd was definite. Oh, and speaking of which, with Ramsey's team, real quick, they were def. The crowd definitely seemed bored sitting oh there my watching. God. They was looking at their phone. Yes, they were. Yeah. Looking down. Yeah, so that's why. It seemed like almost everybody was looking at their phone. It? it did seem like that. So that's the reason why 35% of the attendees said that they would have bought products from Ramsey's team. And 50% said that they would have bought um, from Vanderpump. So that's great to hear. Vanderpump won. Ramsey went hard, okay? He is getting serious. Like when his team lost, he was cursing up a storm. And then when it time came, and then when it came time to do the grilling, he was upset that nobody read the room and understood that it was a professional um, setup. Excuse me, I may be petty, what? But I don't think Ramsey cursed anyone. I think that Ramsey was using profanity. Okay, yes, using profanity. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't let that go. Oh. oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yes, Ramsey was using profanity because he was very frustrated that his team has lost. And really because he told them, read the room, understand if your audience is feeling it, and they just were not. They just panicked. Yes, that's, I understand. Doing, But this is the second time that they're doing something wrong. I wise. know, but they, 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 they just panicked. I understand. Well, I guess it was the restraint types of not having... To feel comfortable and that a lot of them didn't practice this way they should have yeah you know? yeah and now who knows what's going on behind the scenes yes. i don't know so because of that um kyson even admitted that he messed up and he under and he said that he wasn't going to use his speech impairment well he can't because he's seen it that he got up there and froze mm -hmm. when he froze everybody was like and he looked to ramsey and man was like yes. like and I could tell Ramsey didn't want to send him home. And I can truly say this. Mm -hmm. When he sent you home, T really sent you home because you really messed up. Yeah, that is true. You could for me, it doesn't matter what color you are, who you are. Mm -hmm. He do, even he's like that with the little kids. <laughs> yes. He shows no partiality. It's like if he say it is, mm -hmm. that's what I see. Yes. When Lisa shows a little partiality. She does. And because Ramsey told her about that guy. Yes, Nicholas. And that's why I said, you going home. Didn't mm -hmm. I say? Yes, you did. So so but 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 that let me know. But I like Lisa. But if they said you can change teams, I would still go to Ramsey. Okay. Because I know that he chose fairly. Yes, he does choose fairly. And I see that he would let if you chose to be the leader, and if it's based on the food, or what, if that's what it's based on, mm -hmm. and you still in that race, you gonna get it. Yes, you are. And he's like that with the little kids. I couldn't even believe he was like that with the little kids. <laughs> but the thing is, with the little kids, he was more tender hearted. Oh, that's good. It mm -hmm. Um. Yep. So Kaisen had gotten home, but nope. There was another way me in this episode. A second person went home. Who? Rose, and yeah. she was the leader. She was the one that picked up the napkin? No. Oh, that that, that's, that's another. So I'm getting yes. on with some. Be quiet. Yes. Um, so, yeah, that was somebody that, those were the two people that went home last episode. 
And that was pretty much it for... Why did she go home? Because she didn't have good leadership skills. Right, 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 right. And the way right. she introduced everybody, it yeah. wasn't a professional tone for the event right. that they were I'm doing. I wonder why she was so good at first. What do you think messed her up? I have no pressure. idea. Could be pressure. And she pressure. did and she did say that she always wanted to be a sports announcer, so she used this as her opportunity. She messed up. She did, she did. Oh. Under pressure. Uh-huh. All right, now for this new episode that just recently came out. Oh man, it was juicy. I so thought it was very good. I told you it was good tonight. Yes, you did. It was definitely good. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Ramsey's restaurant, Savy, Sa 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 I hope I pronounced that right. Um, it's apparently he wanted the two teams to come together in this episode to be one big team and work together. Because they're getting down to the wire. Everybody's yes. been home. So now it's like every man for themselves now. Mm -hmm. So this is the beginning of the, this is the breaking down of who's going to the final. Yes. Or who's going to, to the semifinals. To the semifinals. Oh, I want to see that semifinals. Yes. I want to see the semifinals and I want to see the finals. Mm -hmm. I used to watch Judge, I mean, Judge Ran what, what, Gordon, 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 Gordon Ramsey, but I had stopped watching him because I just thought he was so mean. I understand. And um, and I just didn't like it, but now I don't know, it's him being softened up. You know, he just don't seem, he just seems like he's so lovable. He seems lovable, but definitely. Just don't mess up in his kitchen, that's yes. all. Yes, that's all, just don't mess up and, in his and kitchen. And don't be a donut or a jackass around. Be male or female. Yeah, that's, that's, true. It. that's true. That's true. That's it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, he's a sweetheart. Yes. At least the way he come off on TV and the way his daughters treat him. Okay. So go ahead. Yes. So he wants the two teams to come together and they're going to be serving the breakfast um, hours at his his restaurant. Mm -hmm. Um. And this is a, a very high-end restaurant, very... It's amazing. his restaurant, Yes, right? it is his restaurant. One of his restaurants. One, one of his restaurants. Mm. And many big-time celebrities has been there. So they were working at a high-end restaurant at yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So their pressure was... How did it come on? It came on with them eating breakfast, surprisingly. But by, 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 by one... Uh, I think it was Randy. She led them to the um, restaurant... And told them that this is what they were going to be doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yes. All right. And that they were all going to be one team. So while the team sat there and ate their breakfast, Andrew elected himself as leader for this competition because he feels like he is a good communicator. And this is a communication challenge. So he wanted to step forward and show off his communication skills. Which she kind of fell flat on a little bit. So here's the thing. There are seven members at this time. So four of them is supposed to be in the back house, which is in the kitchen. And then three of them are supposed to be in the front house, which is basically being servers slash waiters. And here's where it kind of, no, this is where it went wrong. Nicholas insisted. That belonged to Lisa Vanderpump team. Yes. Who is a chef. Mm -hmm. As a chef, yes. He decided to elect himself to be he a was server. playing it safe. Mm -hmm. Trying to be trying to be the winner. Yes. But see, he cheated himself. He did. This was a time that Nicholas could have shined like the star. He could have won if he would have took that kitchen. Because mm -hmm. he could have done it. He would have known yes. that he didn't have enough confidence in himself. Nope. He said, I've been working recently as a host. Um, a hostess so I want to show off those skills inside of me to show them that I can do both <laughs> you show them you could not do both Nicholas um, and he was so insistent on being on that team that side of the um, on that side of the team that Jess the floor side yes the floor side Jess that just last episode had cut her finger trying to Work with kitchen utensils. Selling the product. Yes. She's now in the kitchen and she has, like she says, no cooking experience. 
and he still wouldn't take nope him. he still wouldn't take him even the leader andrew said i feel like you should i feel like you guys should switch and nicholas was like nope I well, and no, he could have took andrew's spot yeah he could have but he didn't trust himself. Nope, he didn't trust himself. And I guess Andrew didn't want to be a... I, I don't know why Andrew chose to be a a chef. He could have easily been a server and then let sh mm. and then switch spot or whatever. Well, he could have stayed in the kitchen. Yeah, you're right. And then the, the girl could have went out on the floor where she would have been good at. Mm -hmm. So then it comes time for them to... First off, they had to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning. To make sure that he could start serving breakfast at, I think, 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. Whew. For them. That's all. Yes. I, I feel for the people that have to serve breakfast now at restaurants. Well, what about in hospital? What yeah, about in right, the military? Those, right, those are all right. What about oh. in the military? What about prison? Yeah. You ain't think about that, huh? <laughs> no, I didn't. What about school cafeterias that open up? Yeah, you're right. You're right. They got to get there, they got to clean, they got to prepare, they got to get It ain't like they feed like 10 children. <laughs> yeah, you are right. So when it came time to get a crash course for each team, front and back, they were in the front team was enlisted to talk about carrying things with napkins. So that way they do not put fingerprints on the cuttery. Wild. I never thought that much detail went into it. And then in the back team, Andrew decided to... Wait a minute, go back and say that again. The front team. No, no, no. About the cuttery. Oh, that they had to pick it up with a napkin. Because if they picked it up with their hands, they would put fingerprints onto the cuttery while they're laying. Oh, right, right, right. I got you. Okay. Right, 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 right. Right. Mm -hmm. Which, honestly, it is a much more sanitary way if you think about it that way. Um, so, back in the back lines, Andrew... Did you say about what happened with the neck? No, I haven't gotten there. Okay, go ahead. Let you tell me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, in the back lines, Andrew decided to take up too much um, for himself because he decided to do Egg Benedict, do the pancake... And he still had to be the communicator between the, the servers. Oh, he was and, doing all of that. Yes. Wow. Yes. I yes. seen it twice, and I just thought he was just doing some kind of brawn that you lay over top of it. Oh. I saw him, I thought he was back <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I'm like, he did, he was doing all that. Yes, he was doing oh my all that. Gosh. And still had no be. wonder he got lost. Yes. And got quiet. <laughs> he started focusing. Jeez, he bit off more than what he could chew. Yes, and even the chef felt like he was biting off more than he can chew, but Andrew felt like he could hand it all, handle it all. So when it came to, this is right before they had opened up for breakfast. Ramsey and Lisa came in to have breakfast to see how the teams are doing. And um, Raymond... Um, yeah, I think that's his name. Who's the fruit truck guy? He did not fully cook, fully cook the sausage, and it was still cold in the center. And then Jess, you know, who has who has struggling with some cooking skills, she had undercooked the French toast. So then Ramsey is like livid at this point. He is basically. But remember, they had a man there to teach them how to prepare all these meals. That's true. That's why they had to get there early mm -hmm. to learn how to do these eggs, learn how to do all of this stuff. Yes. And the black man was standing there and the whole time in the kitchen. Yes, he was. So watching it, watching his apart. kitchen and watching fall apart. Him and the other guy. Yes. The older guy was like, <laughs> he was. He was. He was like. Disastrous. Yes. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> yeah, you roaches. That's how I felt. Like that's how yeah, they I'm both saying. made me feel. Like, oh. Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so because of that, Ramsey had went to the back talked to them and told them that they need to get together and gave them some pointers. Tell them to really relax. He was like, I can see you guys are a little bit stressed and a little bit. <laughs> they were stressed out. <laughs> He was just like, relax. Maybe you won't like make as many mistakes if you just just don't rush. Now, first you tell them, 
Look, this is very, uh, very high end restaurant. Yes. The, you know, this is this. So you know you're dealing with snooty people, uh -huh. and you they write everything. Away. How do people post me? I feel scared. I'm like that. Right. How? You're right. Definitely high end stress. It didn't look like a high end restaurant though. No. Did it? Didn't? No, it's not. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe elegant if we can get it like that. Anyway, maybe if we were there, yeah. we could see the, the ambiance mm -hmm. of it or something. I don't yes. know. Yes. But here is everything that went wrong and everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. First off, the peaches. Sorry again, Jess, to pick on you. The peaches weren't fully cooked. Then the breakfast. One time. And she said it will never happen again. That is true. But she did burn her French toast, but that's okay. So let me ask you this. The black pudding. Mm -hmm. Is that just fried tomatoes black? I have no idea what this black pudding is, honestly. Because whatever... He was cutting a tomato. Was it a tomato? It was fried like crust. Black pudding is a distinct regional type of blood sausage originating in the United Kingdom in Ireland. It oh, is it's a sausage. Yes. It definitely looks black for sure. Why do they call it black? I don't know. Okay, I'm going too hard. I, I mean, I'm if going you... too hard. They really fried it really black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, black my. pudding. Yeah. I mean, could you put that up? Okay, I will. Yeah. Now, now I know what those were. <laughs> they really black. Mm-hmm. Is it black on the inside? No, or it could just be dark on. No side. wonder I kept saying it looked like. Um, I said it looked like a mushroom. I know when it, when it was fresh, I said it looked like a tomato because of the holes, but it was the white stuff. Yes. Got it. I just got, I just learned something. Yes, we did just learn something. Black pudding. Yes. And for some, um, I guess it was due to cultural reasons, they were not able to eat black pudding, but also at the same time here. Who are they? I think it was a Muslim couple, and black pudding ended up on the plate. And they told them that there was not supposed to be any black pudding, but Nicholas did not write the instructions clearly when taking that note down. So therefore, he took it back and told them, "Just take the black pudding off, and I'll give them." Well, he said that too. Yeah, he told the, oh, the people in the back. Yes, to just take the black pudding off, and I will take it back to them. And that's what he did. But then the black pudding had already touched some because they could food. see the black. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. And so then, therefore, that was a mishap because if it touched it other was food, offensive. If so the whole plate was contaminated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then Nicholas messed up again by saying somehow an egg ended up on a vegan's plate because he didn't specify that it was a vegan and just said no eggs, no dairy. And they were supposed to know that meant that it was vegan. What, what, what's egg break it down? Because right. eggs aren't vegan because they still come from a chicken. Well, eggs, so it is, vegans don't eat eggs. eggs right. right, right. But the vegan. Like, you know, ended, I would know that. Right, and then the but the vegan ended up with eggs on his plate. Because? Because Nicholas wrote down on the note, no, no dairy and, what was it? No dairy and no meat. And they just thought that no. If they said no dairy, I would think milk, cheese, and eggs. Right. I put eggs with dairy. And that's where you find them. Yeah, that's where you do find them. So Nicholas wasn't clear in specifying it. And so therefore. Even butter and margarine and stuff like that. Maybe margarine. not margarine, it depends. Yeah, margarine. But, but definitely butter. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, oh, and then to really show the disaster, there was three tables that by the end of it did not even get food after all that time waiting. Wasn't it more than that? No, no. they said there was three tables that weren't oh. served. 
And they said, we got to go somewhere to eat. But I'm thinking that they probably was told that at the beginning. Mm -hmm. He probably gave them all a way to come back and get a meal or something. Because Ramsey liked that. Yeah. Because the people didn't seem mad or nothing. They mm -hmm. said, well, like, we can go somewhere and get something to eat. Right. It's, and I they mean, didn't probably have to pay for that food. Right, exactly. Because you're definitely not getting the creme de la creme. So, I mean, no. that They were there. He picked them out, and they're going to be honest because what? Oh, yeah, I better shut up. But then it would get No, because we're about to get straight into the grill in. Um, so the grill in, they are all judged together as one team. And right off the bat, Andrew calls off Nicholas for not wanting to. Cause but you never told the part about where the girl dropped Oh, the my neck. God. I am so sorry. I sure did skip that part. Before now you get... made me be quiet. <laughs> Let's go back. Yes. And she was on Ramsey's team. Yes, yeah, she was on Ramsey's team, Liz. And this high end restaurant. Go okay. ahead. Yes. The napkin falls on the floor. First off, she wasn't going to pick it up. And then Ramsey was like, Where's the napkin? And she was just like, On the floor underneath the table. And then so she goes and picks it up. And then she has to go. <laughs> And do the cuttery. He has to go and do the cuttery. And then the same napkin she just dropped on the floor, she is now using it to polish to or clean, clean off the silverware. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I knew that that would be going home. I knew that was a go home. Yes. Because that let me know how she lived. I, I would not want to eat at her restaurant. I would not want to eat her food. Because to me, she like, oh, I'm lazy, or that's a waste. Pick that up and cook that. I, mm -mm, no, mm -mm. I would not eat her food. And I certainly wouldn't want to go to a restaurant or buy her goods. Mm -mm. I understand. In my opinion, no. And she sells candy off of TikTok. Not I too. will not buy no candy from that woman off of TikTok. And let me tell you why. Because it let me know. Mm -hmm. Let me know she doesn't care about that. She saw nothing wrong with it. Nope, she really didn't. And the people saw it. Uh-huh. And, and, the, and the man that was like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. But the way they handled it was so discreetly. And that let me know that older man that worked there permanently, mm -hmm. he know that place. His eyes see everything. Yes. Nothing skips by him. Uh -huh. How he does it is a amazing. true veteran. He knows when the food was wrong, when it was, he was just on it. That's amazing. Yes. That's the maitre d' of the restaurant. Oh, yes. Speaking of which, too, they was a mess up with the numbers and the tables, so therefore people weren't getting their food or the wrong food was going to the wrong table. And that, that was a mess. Yes, and that was supposed to, partially that was supposed to be on Andrew because he was supposed to be the communicator between the tickets and the rest of the kitchen. However, like we said, he had too much on his plate by cooking Egg Benedict and pancakes. Mm -hmm. But he did the best he could. Yes, At least he, he showed up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is true. Mm -hmm. So when it came, now, now that we covered everything that went wrong and the grill in, Ramsey is still going hard. He is still fuming, but I get it. That's his restaurant and that's his image on the line as well. Mm -hmm. But re really, the the whole big fuss was really honestly about Nicholas and about how the kitchen wasn't run properly and who was basically on what side of the teams. Mm -hmm. And it basically boiled down to Liz getting sent home. Remember, she's the one that dropped the napkin. I knew she had two yes. the first to go. Yeah, she was the first to go. And then Ramsey let us That is really nasty. This is the thing. Even if I went to um, Popeye mm -hmm. and they had dropped the sack of napkins on the floor and I see them pick those napkins up and, and put them in the thing, I would be grossed out. I would be too. Like, if I go to the dentist, and you know how they had their hands on, and then they start working with the machine, and they go, I know, I don't like that, no. So, I'm funny like that. I get it. I'm sorry, don't no, I just had to put that in there. No, I definitely understand, because that's why she was the first one to go home, mm -hmm. because she definitely did not stand up 
ethically or professionally as she needed to in this. It um, just seemed like she's a slob. Mm. And also it's slobbish behavior, like a slob would do that. Somebody that don't care. Yes. Like it didn't even enter into her mind. Mm -mm, no. no. Like she did it like, this is my first time, what? The way you did that, you would have did that at home. She would have picked something off the floor. She found up, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And she sell candy. I won't buy no candy from her. That's just my opinion. And if they would have let her stay, I would have been done. I would have had to write into the show about that. <laughs> Definitely understand. I like her. But what likes have to do with it? Yes, that is true. And when she looked back on that and the wall seen her do it, because they could have cut that out. Yeah, they could have cut it out. But they didn't. Mm -hmm. And they let you know, just to think, if you go to, but when you think of all the gross things you think people do to your food. Yeah. A dirty napkin that they're going to put in with your food and you're going to wipe your face with. Mm -hmm. No. No, yeah. that's not cool. And also, another um, a technical reason why they sent her home is that she wasn't able to adapt to stress. Um, to a stressful situation and able to maneuver herself properly in unpredictable situations. They could have worked that they sent her home because of that nap. And, and the yes. people saying, when you say the people, they want to think, I never. Yeah, for real, they really did. And then, just like last episode, a second person went home. It was Bye Bye Nicholas, which, yes. Because most definitely, it wasn't only Andrew that had called out, um, had called out Nicholas for not wanting to switch with Jess, but also Roman had called out Nicholas for the fact that he wouldn't have been messing up the food orders if Nicholas was more of a clear communicator That's than running down the tickets. That's true. And because this is a communication challenge, you did not communicate very well, Nicholas, so you have to go. That's true. Yes. So now next episode is the but semifinals. Lisa, Lisa Vanderpump side wonders. So it's five of them and they all start the semifinals. Yes. I will be there. It looks like they're going to be, it's literally looks like it's going to be one for all. Everybody's going to be marketing themselves now. I'm, I'm excited about it. I am. I am. I am. I am. And with that being Let's said, see. did you get it all? Yes, I did get it all. All right. Now, the next episode, we're going to make sure we be on time. I, I really think it was me. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I guess sometimes you just get a little burned out. I don't know. Yeah, you do. But the thing about these two episodes was mm, They good. were very good. They was. So anyway, we like um, Jordan Ramsey. We love his show. And... Right now, that I don't know if this is a preview. I mean, if this is an old one, but I already saw the one where they did the little juniors. That was delicious. You'll love that. And then I'm seeing now why they're doing the millennials. They're doing the, the um the Zen Sings, the whatever they are, the baby boomers. Oh, oh yes, going. I wanted to see. So that. that's why that's why I kept it frozen on the TV. Oh, thank you. Yes, because I think we'll see that. Well, with that being said, we thank you for joining us as we go through um Ram. Gordon Ramsay, who I've learned to love. I think he is so lovable in spite, just don't mess with his kitchen. I think he definitely has gotten softer. Maybe that's, yes. maybe, that, who knows, maybe that could be attributed to having kids. Or maybe that could just be contributed to people hating him. That is true. You know, but I see him now because there was a time I didn't like him for that. But today, and the way he handled children, and the way he handled that man that had that speech impediment. Yes. I, and even said, I'm going to reach out to you after this show mm -hmm. ends just to check in on you. Because he get it. Yes. But you know what? I just like a man that shows sensitivity. Mm -hmm. And I like a man that treat women and men equal. And I like that about him. Yeah. I really do. And from what I gather, he judged fairly. Yes, he does. He really does on his show. I'm going to say that. And so with that being said, we thank you for joining us as yes. we watch Gordon Ramsay. What is the name of the show? Food Stars. Food Stars. It's really good. I know that you're not following us, but if this happened to run across, please just join us. It comes on what? It comes on Fox and... Fox also comes on Hulu if you want to watch it on a streaming service. And I think it airs 9 p.m. on a Wednesday night on Fox, Eastern Standard Time. It's very good. Very, very good. 
But with that being said, oh, today is not Friday. No, it's Thursday. Oh, okay, so I don't have to do any more readings. I can wait till tomorrow. Yes, because. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. So, anyway, it must have was a gloomy day today, wasn't it? No, Jeez, how can I not tell? I was awake most of the day. <laughs> well, anyway, sorry about that. Got sidetracked. I'm trapped. Sidetracked. I'm back. Um, anything you'd like to say? Um, I hope you guys are enjoying Food Search Just With Us, and hopefully we'll see you guys on another video. And please, yes. and what's up? If this happened to run by you, and you looked at it for at least five minutes, just said, oh, I'll give them a thumbs up. Let me support these women over here. We're yes. trying. And not only that, if you'd like to subscribe, we really, really appreciate it. We really, really do. You don't know how much you're helping us and how much you will be blessed. Thank you so much for joining us. We so appreciate it. Yes. And again, everything we say is alle allegedly. What do we know? We're just old carpenters. <laughs> yes, we right? are. Mm -hmm. With that, we say what? Sunflowers.